Hey guys, welcome to arguably one of the coolest maps in Ravenfield. This is Archipelago. You spawn on an aircraft carrier and assault an archipelago of islands, as the name of the map might suggest. And well, uh, as you saw in the title of the video, we have quite a powerful weapon on our hands here. So I've just gone off the helicarrier and we are attacking this flag. So this this boat has a motor and I can just attack these people here with that it has a really cool red hit, red marker and you can see where your missiles are gonna land. So let's get out of the boat and Oh so while I was uh, messing around with the boat my teammates have captured a flag which is good. Let's attack these guys. Okay, nice. Um, I downloaded this th this weapon mod and it adds uh, this gun with a few different types of attachments and it's really fun to use. You can either have a scope or red dot sight. I like the scope because it lets you see more and oh, also I, I got an anti-tank rifle which is really cool looking. As you can see, two hits and it instantly disables an ATV. How, how did I already lose? How did my team already lose? Oh, by the way, guys, if you guys are wondering when I'm going to use nuke, it's about around the end of the video. Uh, I just want to play around first and try to win at least, even though we somehow instantly lost. Okay, anyway, I'm going to go over my loadout. We have this gun, which looks really cool. Its reload is great. Uh, we have, uh, like, it's basically a Glock, and it's also really cool. And we have an anti-tank rifle. This is a really good loadout, and I really do enjoy using it. And since this is a long-range uh, map, I can zoom in and zoom out with my scope. This gun has very, very low recoil. This is the part of the video where I will ask you to subscribe, and I would really appreciate it. Thanks. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take this flag. Oh, well, people just spawned here. Uh, this this gun doesn't do that much damage, but um, it definitely shoots pretty fast and is very accurate. Okay, I, f I found a quad bike and uh, well, I'm gonna go ahead and drive. To oh, I'm gonna go ahead and run this guy over if I can. Oh, I hope he doesn't shoot me off my bike. It's really fun to. Oh no, I missed! I just missed. Okay, let's get out and shoot him. But it's very easy to run people over with like massive um, trucks and stuff. I think we're gonna go over to the airfield and try to grab ourselves uh, maybe a bomber. So there should be a bomber in the hangar. It doesn't look like there is. That's weird. There, there's no bomber, I guess. So let's just take this ATV, this tank. The vanilla model for this tank is really great. Like, you can compare the model of a pa the Patriot Tactical to the model of like the sniper i forget the name of it but and you'll see a massive difference in like how good the textures look which is very weird and, like some half the vanilla guns in this game look great the other half look like some guy in blender just decided he would add two rectangles together and call it a gun no offense to the, uh, Steel Raven who made the guns, but, uh, yeah, they, some of them do look kind of blocky. Uh-oh, my tank's very badly damaged. Hopefully we can grab a few more kills before it explodes. Uh, oh, I've run this guy over. Nice. Uh, looks like, uh, ra oh, wow. <laughs> We've switched sides. Before, we had no control over any of the islands, but the aircraft carrier was ours. And now, Raven only has the aircraft carrier. It's like, how is that possible? We switched, completely switched sides. Uh, I guess Raven still has the airfield. Let's go over there and clear them out. And once uh, Raven is limited to just the aircraft carrier, we can just go on a boat and start uh, capturing the flag. It's always hard to capture the last flag in Ravenfield because that's where the enemies spawn. And they have nowhere else to spawn. So every time you kill them, they're just gonna spawn right back. Oh, wow. This this sniper is very powerful. I'm pretty sure it does 100 damage. But yeah, since um, every the only place they can spawn is one flag, it's you're gonna have a very hard time capturing it. 
that's why I like to keep the respawn timer real high in my games so that that doesn't happen and it's relatively easy to capture flags it looks like um, they've captured let's see maybe I could pilot this thing I'll tell my guys to get on the miniguns and now we have well this this um, helicopter is really cool it has twin is two miniguns on each side that are very very powerful let's see if my minigunners can take care of this boat it doesn't look like they're attacking it for some reason that's strange they're, d they're shooting at something I'm sure they're missing quite a bit I wish this helicopter gave the pilot its own um, you have to do an emergency landing here uh, but I wish this helicopter gave the pilot its own weapons that way you wouldn't have to rely on bots to do all the shooting for you see if we can snipe these guys Oh, wow, I actually hit him. I'm surprised. Okay, there's the boat. Let's see if I can take it out with my sniper. My anti-material sniper. So that's one hit. And then the second hit. Oh, this reload is really cool. It reminds me of the tank Hueger, or however you spell it. However you say it, um, in Battlefield 1. Where it's like, it's just like that. It's a one-hit kill to infantry. And does a lot of damage to vehicles. It's like a... If you play Battlefield 1, you know what I mean. Speaking of Battlefield 1, I am absolutely terrible at that game. I think it's about time we use the nuke, right? And we have a mini nuke and the full-on nuke. So let's use the big nuke first. And open the hatch and launch. So where should we shoot? Let's go over here. Nice and far away so that we don't get hit by the blast and direct it on a random guy oh oh no that's a mass that's a really good looking mushroom cloud and it's it's a really laggy mushroom cloud too i i destroyed 16 vehicles in this game i think i destroyed two so far without the nuke so that's 14 vehicles destroyed with the nuke that's crazy. There must have been a bunch of them there. Or either that or the blast radius is insanely big. It's kind of hard to snipe with this thing. It's but the like basically zero recoil helps quite a bit. Oh, I got one. Hey, what am I doing? I literally have a nuke. I should just launch it at them. Why am I shooting them with my tiny gun when I should just Oh. I wouldn't advise um launching a nuke at someone this close to you in real life. But this is Ravenfield and it's a game, so you don't have to worry about any nuclear radiation and all that. I don't think I got any kills from launching that nuke. I don't think it killed anybody. Like, uh, let's launch it again. Let's see if my K, K uh, kills go up. So right now it's 33 and now it's 32. How did it go down? For some reason it won't da let me damage any people. It only will damage... Um, uh, vehicles. That's not that bad. I mean, we can still destroy a lot of vehicles with this thing, with the nuke. But I really do wish you could um, destroy people with this thing. It's cool how if you look at the nuke launcher, you can like see where the nuke is, and like you can control it by looking around. I think the mini nuke is much more practical, so I'm gonna switch to that. Like, you can use the nuke if you want to, like, um, just have some fun. But the mini nuke is probably um some the better version like if you just want to play a normal balanced game of ravenfield look as you can see the explosion is much smaller and it's very cool looking sadly the mini nuke or the nuke um is not as fast as airplanes so you cannot do any anti-air you know guided missile things which would be cool but like to ba in order to balance them um they have to be slow. And also, why can't I get in the boat? Also, I noticed the entire time I've been playing, I haven't so so far shown off this um, Glock. So let me do that right now. It first of all, the firing animation is amazing. It's like the coolest one I've ever seen. And let's see if I can find some enemies to try it with. Oh, was that a one-hit kill or was was I just lucky? I think I'm pretty sure it's a two hit kill with this thing. Uh yeah. Oh, here's somebody. Uh, looks like he's already damaged, so it might be a one hit kill with him. Oh, he's almost down. He's almost down. There he is. 
Oh, I, I, I'm so close. Ah, there we go. Let's let's look at the reloading animation, the empty reload. Oh wow, that's that's great. Oh, here we have some people. Why am I trying to snipe them with a pistol? The way the character uses this gun reminds me a lot of Call of Duty Modern Warfare, or like any like, a, like any modern first-person shooter. Like the way it like acts, um, really reminds me of that those kind of games. Here you go. Let's see if I can snipe this guy from so far away with a like SMG or carbine. Is this a carbine or an assault rifle? I'm not sure. Here we go. We've got an enemy. Let's see if I can disable it with the armor again. Okay. Guys, look at the missile. I shot it and I got killed, but the missile stayed. Look at that. It's like um it's like it's a very weird looking missile. I don't think any missiles actually look like that. If I shoot it, nothing happens. If I shoot it, nothing happens. So Hmm. That's cool. So if you ever... Oh, it disappeared. It despawned. This is like one of the most fun uh, sniper rifles to use. Like, or like anti-armor guns to use. Because it just... It, it looks so powerful, right? Like the fact that you have to reload after every shot shows how much damage it does. Oh, okay. I'm going on a kill streak with just my pistol. It's very easy to go on long kill streaks with this, uh, with the uh, assault rifle because of how little uh, recoil it produces. Why aren't the AI shooting at me? Do they not see me? The entire time they've just been walking this way. They're not shooting at me at all. Why aren't they shoot? Oh, now they're shooting at me. Okay. For a while they weren't shooting at me at all, for some reason. But I think I'm gonna end this video here. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.